During the first couple of dates, in the time between these meetups, the days seem to rush by in a blur of passion and excitement. We're so caught up in the thrill of meeting someone new that we can't even step back and process what's going on. Although we might feel lost in this whirlwind of emotions, our relationships usually stick to a pretty common formula. Here are a few stages that almost all relationships will follow. The first stage, attraction. Our relationships first begin when we set eyes on our new partner. Although we haven't started dating yet, we feel an undeniable pull towards this enchanting new person. At this point, you might walk up and introduce yourself. Who knows, you might even start flirting, dropping a compliment here and there. And in 2019, this initial stage might not even take place in person. Many people meet someone new on social media or through a dating app. The second stage, learning more about them. Once we're attracted to someone, we usually feel a desire to learn more about them. Sometimes we discover more about this person through conversation, and sometimes we learn more about them after checking out their social media profiles. Better yet, we might even ask mutual friends for more juicy details about this new person. All of this new information helps us decide whether or not they're a good fit. The third stage, building comfort and trust. In an article published by Oxford's Department of Experimental Psychology, Comfort and trust was identified as a major stage in all relationships. This is when both partners start to let their guards down, testing the waters to see if the relationship might be stable and sustainable in the future. During this stage, it helps if partners are honest, non-violent, and forgiving. Interestingly, Oxford researchers stated that physical touch is incredibly effective when it comes to building trust. The fourth stage, actually going on dates. At this point, we go on dates regularly. In previous stages, we might have been a little unsure about our partners, but now we've settled into a comfortable rhythm of dating and consistently enjoying each other's company. As we date more and more, both partners build a stronger connection based on mutual interests, trust, and attraction. By the end of this stage, we're comfortable with being vulnerable around them. The fifth stage, seduction. According to that same Oxford study, Seduction is one of the final stages of a relationship. This is where we truly open ourselves to the possibility of passionate intimacy. According to Oxford researchers, women need more time to develop this emotional connection when compared to men. But when we reach this stage, we stop thinking of ourselves as singular beings. Instead, we start to become one with our partners. We feel their emotions and understand their experiences on a deeper level, as if they were our own. The sixth stage, the honeymoon phase. Most of our viewers are probably familiar with this phase of a relationship. In the first six months or so, everything seems new in a relationship, and this could be explained by scientific studies. Researchers tested nerve growth factors and cortisol levels of couples within the first few months of a relationship. These levels were very high, resulting in feelings of euphoria and reduced stress. But when they tested those same levels 12 to 24 months later, the levels have returned to normal. This suggests that relationships are only truly tested after the honeymoon stage is over and the physiological love cocktail has worn off. The seventh stage, the doubting phase. This is the make or break stage for relationships. Doubts usually start to creep in after a few years and making it this far is a real accomplishment, but the biggest hurdle is yet to come. You need to overcome all of these doubts if you want the relationship to succeed. Partners might start worrying about the unknown future, their individual career paths and interests, and whether or not their partner fits into all of this. If it's not meant to be, it'll become obvious during this stage. In this current age of social media, it's very easy to start comparing our own relationships to other perfect couples we see online. This makes the stage of doubts even tougher to get through in 2019. The eighth stage, commitment and stability. Once you reach this stage, you're home free. After many, many years, you're completely and unconditionally in love with each other. You know each other better than any other person on earth, and you regularly find yourself predicting each other's actions and knowing what to say to comfort your partner during stressful times. Most importantly, you don't take each other for granted. You're happy with the direction of the relationship, and you might even start building projects and creating things together. Who knows? Maybe a family? <laughs>